this is another video about the CVT of my track diesel motorcycle. That one. Um, I'll try and explain the secondary CVT. That one. Because I have it apart currently. Um, one sheave, other sheave. This is the front side, that's the back side. This goes, this spline here goes into the rear wheel. That's a little roll, little wheel. We have another one on the other side. This is the helix. And this one is a 45 degree. They also have them in 55 degrees, but unfortunately not available at the moment. This is the counter helix. So I can now show you guys what happens when we put power onto the plates here. The whole thing is spinning to the left. So that direction. Because that's the way the motorcycle goes forward. So if I pull on the sheaves here, this will turn to the left. No problem. Now this axle, and let me have something to point with. There we go. This axle is, is locked onto this here. If you can see that, yeah. And that is connected to this sheath. So that one is connected to that sheath. And these helix bars here, this one, that one, is connected to here, which is connected to this sheath. There. So, the wheel, the inner side here, connected to that one. Helix is connected to the housing on this side, and that sheath. So, see if I can make this work. I hope you're getting this. So if I just twist it, this is the wheel in the other position there. Now the only wheel, for, the only way for this wheel to go down there onto this helix plane is by squishing something in between here. I have to open these before this wheel will allow travel down there. I'm not sure if I can actually do that because that requires quite a lot of force. Um, what I can show however is that if when you turn this sheaf as opposed to there this wheel will want to go to this side. I hope I can. Yeah. There we go, it's moving. Just baby steps here because I'm doing it with one hand. This means that when this roller is somewhere halfway on the helix there, down there, and you're running, I don't know, 80, 90 kilometers per hour, and this one is halfway. The minute you start pulling this, the added force on this sheath will pull this wheel up onto this bank here, and it'll force add add extra force to close the sheaves because, as you can see, when the wheel's up here, the sheaves are closed. So that adds to the force of the spring. Which is good because you're pulling on it and you're wanting to transfer power. So it's shifting back up. It's actually trying to get the belt up. And that's what happens. When you let go of the throttle, you're relaxing the, sh the sheave. And the f force of the belt in between the sheaves will overcome the force of this wheel on the helix added to the spring and then you will shift
that's basically it. Oh, try to get something done here with the belt. But I doubt that I'm strong enough. So, that's the secondary, that's part of the primary there, no parts over there, and this is the hole where it all goes, that's the primary, secondary goes here, and the housing is over there. 